The Rebellion of Tupac Amaru II 1780 c. 1782 was an uprising of native and mestizo peasants against the Bourbon reforms in the Spanish Viceroyalty of Peru. While Tupac Amaru II, an early leader of the rebellion, was captured and executed in 1781, the rebellion continued for at least another year under other leaders. Topic. Background Topic. The government of Spain, in an effort to streamline the operation of its colonial empire, began introducing what became known as the Bourbon reforms throughout South America. In 1776, as part of these reforms, it created the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata by separating Upper Peru modern Bolivia and the territory that is now Argentina from the Viceroyalty of Peru. These territories included the economically important silver mines at Potosi, whose economic benefits began to flow to Buenos Aires in the east, instead of Cuzco and Lima to the west. The economic hardship this introduced to parts of the Altiplano combined with systemic oppression of Indian and mestizo underclasses a recurring source of localized uprisings throughout Spanish colonial South America to create an environment in which a large-scale uprising could occur. In 1778, Spain raised sales taxes known as the Alcabala on goods produced and sold in the colonies in part to fund its participation in the American Revolutionary War. José Gabriel Condor Conqui, an upper-class Indian with claims to the Inca royal lineage, adopted the name Tupac Amaru II alluding to Tupac Amaru, the last Inca emperor, and in 1780 called for rebellion. He claimed to be acting on behalf of the King of Spain, enforcing royal authority on the corrupt and treacherous colonial administration. He was motivated in part by reading of a prophecy that the Inca would rule again with British support, and he may have been aware of the British colonial rebellion in North America and Spanish involvement in the war. <inaudible> rebellion near Cuzco on November 4, 1780, after a party in Tungasuca, where Tupac was cacique, Tupac and supporters seized Antonio Arriaga, the corregidor of his hometown of Tinta. They forced him to write letters to his treasurer in Tinta requesting money and arms and to other powerful individuals and Caracas ordering them to congregate in Tungasuca. On November 10, six days after his capture, Arriaga was executed in front of thousands of gathered Indians, mestizos, and criollos, locals of mostly Spanish descent. Tupac began moving through the countryside, where he gained supporters, primarily from the Indian and Mestizo classes, but also with some Creoles. On November 17 he arrived at the town of Sangarara, where Spanish authorities from Cuzco and the surrounding area had assembled a force of about 604 Spaniards and 700 Indians. Tupac S. Ad hoc army, which had grown to several thousand, routed this force the next day, destroying the local church where a number of people had taken refuge. Tupac then turned south, against the advice of his wife and lieutenant Michaela Bastidas, who urged him to attack Cuzco before the government could mobilize. Indigenous communities often sided with the rebels, and local militias put up little resistance. It was not long before Tupac. S forces had taken control of almost the entire southern Peruvian plateau. Spanish colonial administrator José Antonio de Arreche acted in response to Tupac's uprising, moving troops from Lima and as far off as Cartagena toward the region. Tupac Amaru II in 1780 began to lead an uprising of indigenous people but the Spanish military proved to be too strong for his army of 40,000 to 60,000 followers. After being repelled from the capital of the Incan Empire the rebels march around the country gathering forces to attempt to fight back. Troops from Lima were instrumental in helping repel Tupac's siege of Cuzco from December 28, 1780 to January 10, 1781. Following these failures, his coalition of disparate malcontents began to fall apart, with the upper caste Criollos abandoning him first to rejoin the Loyalist forces. Further defeats and Spanish offers of amnesty for rebel defectors hastened the collapse of Tupac's forces. By the end of February 1781, Spanish authorities began to gain the upper hand. A mostly indigenous loyalist army of up to between 15,000 and 17,000 troops led by José del Valle had the smaller rebel army surrounded by March 23. 
A breakout attempt on April 5 was repulsed, and Tupac and his family were betrayed and captured the next day along with battalion leader Tomasa Tito Condemeda, who was the only indigenous noble who would be executed alongside Tupac. After being tortured, on May 15 Tupac was sentenced to death, and on May 18 forced to witness the execution of his wife and one of his children before he was himself quartered. The four horses running in opposite directions failed to tear his limbs apart and so Tupac was beheaded. Topic. The rebellion continues Topic. Tupac Amaru's capture and execution did not end the rebellion. In his place, his surviving relatives, namely his cousin Diego Cristobal Tupac Amaru, continued the war, albeit using guerrilla tactics, and transferred the rebellion's focal point to the Kalo Highlands around Lake Titicaca. Government efforts to destroy the rebellion were frustrated by, among other things, a high desertion rate, hostile locals, scorched earth tactics, the onset of winter, and the region's altitude most of the troops were from the lowlands and had trouble adjusting. An army led by Diego Cristobal occupied the strategically important city of Puno on May 7, 1781 and proceeded to use it as a base from which they launched attacks all across Upper Peru. Cristobal would hold the town and much of the surrounding territory until mounting losses and diminishing support convinced him to accept a general amnesty from Viceroy Agustín de Yauregui. A preliminary treaty and prisoner exchange were conducted on December 12, and Cristobal's forces formally surrendered on January 26, 1782. Though some rebels continued to resist, the worst was over. The last organized remnants of the rebellion would be vanquished by May 1782, though sporadic violence continued for many months. Diego, his mother, and several of his allies would be arrested and executed anyway by paranoid Spanish authorities in Cuzco on July 19, 1783, on the pretext he had broken the peace accords. During the rebellion, especially after the death of Tupac Amaru II, non Indians were systematically killed by the rebels. Aftermath Topic. The ultimate death toll is estimated at 100,000 Indians and 10,000 to 40,000 non-Indians. Viceroy Yauregui lessened Mita obligations in an attempt to ameliorate some of the Indians' complaints. In 1784, his successor, Teodoro de Croix, abolished the Corregidores and reorganized the colonial administration around eight intendants. In 1787, an audiencia was established in Cuzco, Arech's decrees following the execution of Tupac Amaru II included the banning of the Quechua language, the wearing of indigenous clothing, and virtually any mention or commemoration of Inca culture and history. Arech's attempts to destroy Inca culture after the execution of Tupac Amaru II were confirmed by royal decree in April 1782, however colonial authorities lacked the resources to enforce these laws and they were soon largely forgotten. See also Revolt of the Comuneros, a 1781 revolt in the Viceroyalty of New Granada caused by the Bourbon reforms Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. The Hispanic American Historical Review, Volume 2 Empires of the Atlantic World, Britain and Spain in the Americas 1492-1830